And uh, one, one final question. Um, what do you think now is the greatest challenge for the European Union? To, to show, I hope it will be able to show, I'm not sure it will, that uh, present-day democracies and integration are not becoming inconsistent. I'm worried because I see in so many countries um, the advent or the further success of uh, nationalistic, populistic uh, movements and parties which uh, normally identify the right problems but normally in my view come out with the wrong answers to those right problems because uh, simplicity, immediacy, directness and above all ability to give a recipe in 10 seconds as in today's uh, TV debates uh, win and uh, so most uh, answers tend to be uh, of a dismissive nature vis-a-vis -vis integration. Uh, is there excessive unemployment in a country? Let's uh, stop uh, foreign workers from, from coming. Uh, is there um, difficult for domestic companies to face the world competition? Let's introduce protectionist measures. All these things are quickly said, quickly understood, apparently seductive, Economic history shows us that uh, integration is better than disintegrating uh, Europe, for example, through protect protectionist measures, but uh, with the political systems so much leaning towards uh, short-termism, uh, I see a difficulty in uh, asserting forcefully and in a winning manner the cause for integration. Are you optimistic or pessimistic about this? Not very optimistic right now. That's a shame. Well, Mario Monti, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah.